Hi, this is Matt from Farmer Blogway. I'm going to talk you through a really awesome tool that I've been using over probably the past couple of months at least now. Um, the tool's called BuzzSumo and it's currently in beta at the moment and uh, it's completely free. I'm not sure if the team over at BuzzSumo are going to be making this a paid tool, um, but for the time being at least, um, it is a free tool. Now, what BuzzSumo does is it's, it's a content and influencer analysis tool. It allows you to find specific types of content that have performed well within any industry, uh, within different time frames and different types of content. You've got the first part that we're about to talk about, which is the, the content analyzer. And then we've also got an influencer search tool, which I'll talk to you about shortly. So what I'm just going to do, just to show you with all the default settings in place, um, is I'm going to search for, let's just say Thailand, uh, a really, a really broad term. Um, I'm just going to press search. <clears throat> now, what BuzzSumo does is it looks for any content online that's related to or has mentioned Thailand and it displays the different content based around how many social shares but by social network that it's that the contents had so you can find this to be incredibly useful if you're searching for content within maybe a new industry or your current industry. Um, and you wanna have a little look through all of the content, do some breakdowns and find what's working on other websites so that you can kind of get a good idea about what might work on your own. Likewise, if maybe you were trying to target, say Twitter, um, to find good content that's performing well on Twitter to boost your engagement on there. You can have a little look here sort this by Twitter shares. You could do the same for LinkedIn, Facebook, Google. By default, it's set to sort by just the total shares across social networks. But you'll see here, this one has got um, two tags under it. Uh, it's an article, but it's, but it's also an infographic. So if I click that, open this up, you see there's article text, and also we've got a nice infographic talking all about drinking in Thailand. So <clears throat> really handy, just, just without going down and breaking it down into any of the other search criteria. This is a very powerful tool. Um, if you wanted to do kind of a content audit, uh, whether you were doing that for your blog and you wanted to get some ideas for content that's working, whether you're trying to find out um, who, are the, who are the big content creators within your industry who gets the most shares uh, so you could find out the domains that are that are appearing regularly and, and go from there another really fantastic part of this is you can also find guest posting opportunities now one thing that buzzsumo does really well is it's very good at identifying what type of uh content this is so you see we've got here infographic article article video it's identified that that's a youtube video and it's very good at doing this and what i'm going to just do here on the on the left so i'm just going to filter by type and you'll see i've got here guest posts i'm just going to get rid of giveaways interviews and bear in mind this is just from the past week we found two guest posts here this one in particular has had a, a really good number of social shares. So what I could do here is if, for example, I was, uh, I was a travel company looking to build links to maybe my Thailand um, flights and hotels page, or if I run a travel blog that focuses around Thailand and I want to get some more exposure for my blog, I might look over at this URL, which is taking an incredibly long time to load. Um, let's. Oh, there we go. Um, what, what I could then do is say, right, let's get some exposure on this site. Clearly, this has got a lot of social engagement, especially within Facebook. So maybe I can get in touch here and, and kind of get a guest post. Okay. So <clears throat> really powerful. And especially when you start going maybe over the past six months, you've got 
huge amounts of content that you can instantly go on. And what's more, you can also press export all of these to either a CSV or Excel. And when I open this in Excel, we'll see here, we've got loads of great data that we can drill down on. So we've got the title of the blog, the URL. So you could break that down into maybe just the domains if you wanted and plug that into Buzzstream. Um, you've got all of the social share data, the published date, what type of article it is. Also, article amplifiers. So you can see the Twitter accounts or the, or the Google Plus accounts, people that have found it maybe. Um, the images, so the Twitter images. So one good thing that you could do is uh, maybe do a reverse image search on their on the the author's image to find out where else they're posting. Um, so so there's a lot of really good data that you can use within this, and this is only a, a really small search. Um, so I'm just going to go back to say infographics to show you that infographics within the past 12 months. Facebook users grew in China. And you can see that it's not just the big blogs that that are searched through here. BuzzSumo searches through all kinds of sites. And, and it, um, one thing that I am very surprised at is the accuracy um, of the way that they actually categorize all of their data. Um, <clears throat> they're very good at identifying what is an infographic, what is video content. So when you're trying to look for, for different content pieces um, online, this is, just, this, this is essentially my first port of call. I start all of my content analysis with BuzzSumo um, before I go in to do some kind of competitive research with maybe social crawlytics um, and some other different tools like Follower Wonk, etc. But I'm, I'm assuming you can kind of really see the value here. Um, and another really cool thing, you can add an RSS feed. So if you use uh, Feedly or some other RSS reader, you can add this as a feed so that you get new alerts based around when um, new content is made around here. So maybe new guest posts related to what you're talking about. Um, or what you could then do is set that up with, if, if any of you have used uh, if this then that, you could get an email alert when new things come through on the RSS feed. So really, really powerful and, and linking this up with other tools is, is really awesome. Now, <clears throat> just I know that Thailand is a very kind of broad area. Um, so maybe let's just Kosamui. Let's just a, a small place in Thailand just to just to show you that it's not just uh, big keywords that will bring in kind of re results back and see we've got nine pages here of stuff just around Koh Samui um, let's let's just go to a completely different niche um, uh, uh, vegetarian recipes I haven't tested any of these queries so I, I don't know if they come back yet we've got 42 pages on vegetarian recipes um, let's change it even more pescatarian recipes Get slightly more niche and we've got from the pescatarian journal so a really kind of niche um, idea there so I just wanted to really highlight that it's not just kind of SEO and then you're gonna get a load of stuff I mean you've got like 1500 pieces of content here. Uh, I mean, if we do link building, <clears throat> we'll find all sorts of stuff, 85 pages, and we can kind of see the most popular content online um, throughout the past six months. So that is BuzzSumo's top content tool. Um, and to be honest, this, this has so many uses that I haven't even tapped upon. Um, I mean, one of the one of the things that I sometimes use this for, especially when I'm working within a completely new industry that I'm not really an expert in or that familiar with, which is often the case, um, I will then go in, do some searches around. Let's just say I had no idea about SEO and link building in particular. And I wanted to find some blogs that I can get some kind of new, fresh content on, learn a bit more and also use within my content strategy and maybe use by sharing online. First thing I'll do is go to BuzzSumo, do a similar search like this, 
and and then I'll start going through and adding a load of these these sites to my RSS feed um, and also add the RSS feed here export all the data and start following a lot of the authors um, on Twitter um, so th there is really limitless stuff that you can do here so I'd recommend just going on and, and playing around now this is another fantastic tool <coughs> this is uh, the influencer search and what this does is a similar type of thing but it's l not focused around um, finding content but actually the people who are sharing and producing really popular relevant content so let's just use link building as an example <clears throat> and I'll just search here what we get is a load of people who are <clears throat> regularly sharing writing and talking about um, things to do with link building <clears throat> what we can see as well is how many followers they have you can sort it's sorted by relevancy at the moment and also which is a really awesome thing that I, I particularly like and I actually use when I'm when I'm trying to do some link building relationship building it Bussumo will look at the URL placed on their Twitter account from there it will then grab the page authority of the home page and the page rank um, it will also find the amount of retweets so <clears throat> what is the number of kind of engagement that or the percentage should I say of engagement that they're having um, on Twitter how frequently do these guys and girls actually respond um, to their tweets so <clears throat> we can also go through and start following users that maybe we weren't following before directly within Buzzsumo and as always we can export this data and open that here <clears throat> and you see if you were just doing kind of a social media audit to find out who are the influential people within your industry that are on Twitter let's say this is is absolute gold we've got their bio so we could maybe search down and kind of almost vet through this list to see if people are relevant <clears throat> the page authority and domain authority of the URL on their account and the page rank their Twitter username number of followers a uh, number of people they're following <clears throat> their name the URL on their site so really I mean if uh, you use the SEO tools plugin for Excel uh, you could go in here and kind of grab even more metrics from Majestic or whatever you want to do if, if that's what you would like to do <clears throat> uh, the reply ratio the percentage uh, we've also got a URL share ratio how many URLs are these people posting out um, are these people good targets for us to look at uh, to get our content shared how frequently do they reply to us um, and and where are they based so we've got if if they actually put that on their account we've got where they're based there this is another thing that I really love it puts their profile image URL directly within this spreadsheet I can then go and reverse image search that to find out any places where they may be right for add that into my analysis find their other social media accounts plug that in and gather stats so it's it's fantastic uh, the Twitter ID string which I don't imagine you really need if you really want to find out the average number of retweets you've got it there and this is another really really powerful powerful tool this person has been identified as a blogger this one's been identified as a blogger and an influencer maybe they're sharing a lot of content Buzzsumo has identified that this is a company account and so is this so you can really drill down and find out kind of what these accounts actually are and then and then we've got a kind of a score here that Buzzsumo have put which I suppose you could use as a as a rough guide for how influential they are so very very powerful tool and I mean <clears throat> you can use this obviously uh, to maybe plug into Buzzstream gather some more information do some outreach to these people if you're looking for contributors to an article this is just this is just fantastic to do that um, if you're doing an event maybe offline 
and you want to start engaging with people or your, your community building within your blog and you really want to find some really good influencers, some good content creators that you want to get on board and bring into your project to, to kind of deliver some results, then this is the first port of call. I mean, I use Buzzsumo more than I use um, most paid tools like Follower Wonk, which I really, really like. But I haven't seen any tool online gather stats, especially a free tool, in the way that Buzzsumo does. Um, and, and be able to export and gather all the data that it does. It's, it's just, it works like a dream. So that's, that's Buzzsumo, really. And, it, and remember, this is still in beta at the moment. I would imagine there's lots more uh, stuff coming from the Buzzsumo camp. And I've been speaking to the guys there, and I know that they're working hard. And over the past month, I think, um, there's been a number of changes, um, specifically additional features to the influencer search. And I know there's more, more coming over the coming month. So keep an eye on this. Um, if you go to app.app.buzzsumo.com, dot com and then have a little play around see what you think and uh, let me know how you get on and if you find any new ways that you can kind of plug this into your existing strategy to get some more results